All right, I think we're on. Hello. So, this is Paul. I'm playing Celasta today. Uh, this is a game that a lot of people have been recommending to me for a while now, and um, I can see why. Um, it's uh, I haven't played it yet, but I think people know me well enough by now to know that when I see this option on a screen, I go fucking bananas. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna take a look at his dungeon maker, because uh, I have a feeling... I have a feeling... So, let's see, I could create a new location. Let's check it out. Um... My ass you can eat, sir. Sire. <laughs> yeah, how about that? My ass you can eat, sire. Um, environment. I don't know. Stronghold, catacombs, sewers. They're more than that. Lava caves, woodland. Hmm. I guess maybe stronghold, I guess. I don't know. The visual mood. This kind of reminds me of Neverwinter Nights a little bit. <laughs> Shit. Reminds me a little bit of Winter Neverwinter Nights. Um, I don't know. Bluish, I guess. Ambient music. Whatever. I don't fucking need all that. Just make my shit, please. Thank you. Alright, so... Let's see. Can I just make rooms? Hmm... Props, nice. Okay, so this is like how you create the floor, right? So do you have to do it with these Lego pieces? Can you just create your own? Or no, because that would be... Um, that would be way too limiting for me, if that's the case. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This looks really interesting. I just I don't know if I like how I don't I don't know if I like what I'm seeing so far. Let me see. I put that down and then what? That's it. Now can I put two of them together? No, I can't. Huh. Okay, so it's really limited right now, it looks like. I don't know what this means. Quick launch to select location where you want your predefined party. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, um... Okay, well that's neat. I guess it's good enough for making, like, little dungeons that you and your friends can do. And that alone is pretty fucking awesome. Um... So I guess you have to create your own characters, so that's cool. Dig it. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This shit's gonna take fucking forever to do. Um... Hmm... Ancestry selection. The first step of character creation is to select an ancestry, which will determine your appearance as well as your gameplay abilities listed on the right. Some ancestries offer a lineage sub-option to further refine the gameplay abilities of the character. God, you know... Every time a game like this comes out, and it has like a fucking dungeon maker, I keep thinking to myself, like, like, like I did with um, Divinity: Original Sin. I like, I would think to myself, like, damn, you know, the possibilities would be endless with this. Like, you could literally use this as a way to um, create like actual uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaigns and shit, and play them with people. But if only it ran on a Dungeons and Dragons system. And this one does. That's why I keep begging, like, Pathfinder and Alcat to, to fucking, um... 
make a uh, a level editor because goddamn, dude, you imagine a level editor for Pathfinder, like any of the Pathfinder games at all? Shit would be insane. I always go with the most generic shit ever. Let me see. We got marsh halflings or island halflings. Like, I don't mind playing as a halfling, but for some reason I mind playing as anything else. Like, playing as a dwarf, I don't know. I think that would kind of piss me off a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. They got a five movement, six movement. Six move, six move, five move. Okay. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go with uh, Halfling. Let's see, which one is like the Lightfoot one? It's two to Dexterity, advantage on saving throws against being frightened. When you roll a one on an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. What? That's fucking awesome. Halfling nimbleness. You can move through the space of any creature that is of a larger size than you. Um, constitution plus one. So that's just the halfling features. The marsh halfling gets a constitutional one, so we're not gonna do that. We want the one that gets you... I guess they don't have it. Never mind. Um, swamp. And then what's this one? Advantage on dexterity checks or acrobatics. Yeah, that right there. We're gonna go with a Duder Cakes. One of these old Duder Cakes. And we're definitely gonna be doing ourselves a little rogy boy. Um, wow, the graphics in this are pretty fucking good, man. Not gonna lie. God damn, like, I love the character model. I love the animations too, like, that pose is pretty, pretty fucking rad. Um, so saving throw proficiencies, dexterity, intelligence, uh, light armor, right, simple, long sword, rapier, yes, fuck yes. Thieves tools, uh, choose four of these skills, acrobatics, athletics, yeah, whatever. You're trained to craft basic ammunition. Huh. Select two proficient tools or tools to double their proficiency bonus. 1d6 extra attack damage every two levels. Good shit, man. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Wow, you get to pick your fucking, um, your kit, too? <laughs> is this rapier considered a, uh large weapon for me, I wonder. I don't think it is, right? I think it's still a small weapon. No, he gets a dagger with that. What's the Explorer's Pack? And the Blur Burger's Pack gives you ration, pouch, antitoxin, crafting basic poison, basic poison. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Okay, dude, dig it, man. Digging it. Dude, this is, uh, this is pretty nice. Let's see, um, low life, hell yeah. Um,. Background personality flags, choose two. Wow, I wonder how often this kind of shit comes into comes into play. Uh oneself, friends and family first at the expense of others. Yeah, sure. Um, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, fuck altruism. That shit's dumb.
Yeah, he's gonna be like chaotic good. Additional personality flags, okay. Pragmatism, cynicism, fuck yeah. Bay, dude, this is just this is basically me. <laughs> this is basically me the person. Alright. Um Yeah, okay, great. Great, great, great. Understood. Oh, you get to roll yo dice. Cool. So I like this. Um, you get to either roll your dice or you can do the standard array. Dice rolls are really fucking iffy, man. Eh. Oh, you can't roll them physically, bitch. Oh shit! I got a good fucking roll the first time, man. Hell yeah. See, cause I'm not, I'm not going to uh, cheat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna keep fucking re-rolling and shit. That's that's dumb. I'm not gonna do that. Um, now, what does intelligence give me? I forget. Cause I might, I might like subclass him or some shit with some arcane type shit. I'm thinking charisma or wisdom for the for the wisdom saving throws. It's a 13 from that, and just a 10 from that. And I'm, I'm trying to remember if, um, if in this system you get uh, a bonus to your attack from dexterity, or if you get a bonus, like you know what I mean, like with finesse weapons, does the bonus come from your dex or from your strength? Because it comes, if it comes from the strength, I just kind of screwed myself. Huh. I need to maybe go back to my <laughs> go back to my Dungeons and Dragons books and fucking find out. Um, fuck it, man. Let's do it. Okay. Wow, this screen's got a lot of shit on it. Um, okay. Cool. Um, <clears throat> acrobatics. Okay, that's already been done. Athletics. Huh. I like insight and investigation and perception usually for main characters. He's gonna be my main character. So I'm thinking uh, investigation and perception should probably do pretty good. And then I get two for class expertise, so bam. Yeah, ancestry languages. Let's go with uh, what is Terran? Fuck, let's go with Orcish. I haven't seen anything of this game. I, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It's, uh, I mean, this is just the first character I'm making. So this whole process is gonna take a long fucking time. <laughs> Whatever. Um. <clears throat> Oh, you get to actually have your family name. <laughs> Dude, this beard. Look at look at this fucking beard. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> that shit look like a beehive, man. <laughs> yeah, the, these beards are not, dude. These beards are not looking good. These beards look like, um, like they were cut out of fucking styrofoam. That's better. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these beards, my dude. I don't know what's up with these beards. <laughs> these beards are not good, man. These are not good looking beards. 
let's go with uh, black, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> it just looks like a, a glob of shit that he put on his chin. Um... <clears throat> You can age these dudes up. Age it up, baby. <laughs> there we go. Push. Don't let me down. No. Come on. Good arms you got. We got a hidden door. I mean, he. Yeah, he's a he. <laughs> Damn, you can even give yourself like a little bit of that. Uh... Who's this guy? Human low life sorcerer. He looks fucking interesting. Let me look at him. What's this dude's deal? Wow, he's pretty good, man. He's got some pretty fucking badass stats. Shit. I'm definitely gonna have to use this dog. Alright, so that's one less character I need to make. What else we got in here? Let's see. We got a paladin. Nah. I'm gonna make my own character here. I need a basic ass human. Let's go with a basic ass human female. And we're gonna do. We're gonna do a fighter. Now, clerics used to be fucking amazing as tanks. Are they still amazing as tanks or not? Because I don't even know if they can use, um, yeah, 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 whatever. Fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm not even, I don't fucking care about, okay, any of this shit, thank you. I just want to see if, <sighs> fine, yeah, whatever. It's actually a really good roll. <laughs> I might end up keeping this bitch. Hold on, okay, um... God damn. Yeah, auto, fucking auto, auto, whatever. Dude, I just wanna see what class packages she gets. Oh my god. Understood. Just auto, fucking god. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't ever show you your feats. It doesn't show you your feats at all, so it doesn't tell you what you're going to have. Okay, here we go. That's where the feats are. So, she's only got oof, medium armor. Alright, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go back. Do a human. Do a fighter. Martial archetypes. Uh, champion gets improved critical. Wait, I remember the... Uh, the champion being insanely good. I think I remember the champion being really fucking good as a... Let me see. Add half of your proficiency bonus rounded up to any strength, dexterity, or constitution check you make that doesn't already use proficiency bonus. Yeah, okay. Um, your weapon attacks score a critical hit on a 19 or 20. Yeah, I thought this was a 5e champion. Like, isn't isn't everything in this game 5e? Or based on 5e in some way? Let's see, Mountaineer. Shield swipe. Advantage on shove attempts when using a shield. Ooh. Tunnel Fighter. While using a shield, gain 2 AC. When you have a wall on one or... Oh, wow! This is fucking cool, yo! Alright! Let's fucking do this, man. I like this guy. Alright, we're gonna do a Mountaineer. Uh, close quarters. As a bonus action, you can force a switch of positions with an enemy. With an- Oh my god, that's such a good-ass fucking skill to have. Like... That was something I always taught my boxers how to do. Was being able to switch positions with people. Like, you always switch positions off of a left hook, and then slide your hand over the side of their head and push them away, and then you could get out of the corner. Um, that's, like, such a good fucking move. So, like, if you're, if you're stuck in a corner or something, you could get yourself out of it. That's pretty fucking cool. Shield push. 
Uh, provided you wear a shield, you can shove an opponent as a bonus action. What? Okay. That is pretty fucking cool. I'm gonna do it. Let's see, chain mail. Eh. Eh. So you get no dexterity bonus for heavy armor. Oh wow. Well. I don't know if this is gonna be a heavy armor fighter, can I be honest with you? If I can get enough Ooh, battle axe, hell yeah. I want a battle axe. So wait, I can't do a shield on this one. Why can't I do a shield? We got a shield over here. Oh, never mind. Uh, battle axe. Hell yeah. Because I could switch to two-handed real fucking easily on those. Um... I'm thinking she's going to be a, uh, maybe a medium armor, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm noticing that this is a lot of, uh, 5e stuff. That I'm, um, I'm pretty happy with this, man. This is pretty nice. I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to be putting a lot of time into this shit. Let's see, uh, cell sword. Hell yeah. We'll go with that. Um, go with authority. Violence. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy. Let's go with uh, fucking absolute violence. But lawfulness. So, like, lawful evil. Holy shit, that's already a damn good score. Holy fuck. Wow. Just one nine? Damn, dude. Wow. That's fucking great, bro. Wow. That makes me happy as shit. I'm getting intimidate rolls. Damn, I get the fucking wisdom saves, the strength, the dexterity, and con saves, and I get a big ass bonus to my intimidation. Fuck yeah. <laughs> wow. Dude, can you imagine rolling two fucking 18s and a 17, a 14, and a 16? Can you imagine rolling that high ever? <laughs> fucking ever. Never in my life. In fact, you know what this game just made me want to do? You know, you know what I want? it makes me want to do? It makes me want to apply this to the, the tabletop games that I play. Or that I run. Because it's like, yeah, you can roll your dice once. And you can pick the standard array if you don't like it. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't like the dice roll, you can just do a standard array for your character. But you could take the chance. Alright, so obviously you're gonna go with defense. Let's see. Uh, while you were wearing armor, you gain a plus one bonus to AC. That might be the one I actually want. When a creature you can see attacks a target other than you, it is within five feet of you. Oh, yes, that is actually really good. So it's, I'm either gonna get the AC bonus or I'm gonna get protection. I'm not sure which. I think I'm leaning towards this because I will be wearing armor, but I won't be wearing heavy armor. And maybe I could get a paladin or a cleric who could do something to buff me, maybe. Alright, so acrobatics. And then where is... Intimidation is not a class skill. Shit. How is that not a class skill? For a fighter. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
How is that not a fucking thing? Um. Yeah, survival. Yeah, whatever. Ancestry languages. Background languages, whatever. Dwarvish, halfling, cool. Okay, lady. Wow, none of these faces look any different. That's because, like, all the faces have the same exact facial features that are just, like, stretched and pulled and shrunk. <laughs> Yo, General Custer, what's going on, my dude? So, uh, yeah. Oof, man, that skin tone. Talk about a bitch that's about to die. <laughs> her liver about to go out on her. Like, all these women look exactly the same. They look exactly the same because they're all based off the same face. So, why, do, why am I even bothering with it? Oh, that hair, though. That hair is on fucking fleek. <laughs> she went and got her hair did. Her nails did. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, long hair would get in the fucking way, so... I don't feel like she's gonna have long hair. She's definitely gonna put her hair up. I mean... I mean, that looks about right. I think that's what I'm going with. I think that's what I'm going with. Oh no. Is there a beard? Don't say there's a beard. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Is there a beard? Oh. <laughs> I started to think about it. I was like, actually, that would be amazing. Alright, physique. Let's go. Let's, let's see. Come on, man. Back up. Back up off the bitch. I'm trying to see her fucking physique, my dude. Look, look at what the age does to her. Eesh. Good God. This fucking age did to me. <laughs> All right, let's see. What, what do we want with the hair? Is it gonna be black? Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? All right. Light, my friend. Come on. Found a door here. Don't let me down. Light, my friend. Thanks. Clumsy. Push! Crawling through dirt. Nothing I needed that. You'll get a nice car. No! Done and done. I hate those. Walk we'll it off. That is not a female voice. There's only two female voices in here. There's all, and, there's, and there's one guy's voice that you might mistake for a female voice. Wait till the next That's one. That's the way. All right, well, I guess we're going with that voice because, uh, yeah. All right, so we gonna call her Bez. Mura, Bezzy. Oh no, I can't. I can't do a nickname. Shit, bitch. <clears throat> oh man, you can't do accents or anything on the names. Shit, bro. All right, so let's see, can we do the rest, or... Hmm. She's a cleric, so I wouldn't need a cleric. I already got a sorcerer, so I don't need a wizard. Some of you may disagree, but I don't. <laughs> I agree 100%. All right, let's do a new... Let's just do... Let's do like a what do we what does he do? He gets one dexterity, no fuck that wisdom. There you go. And uh you know what? I, I need another female on my side. Cause sometimes you feel like a nut. 
Uh, divine domains. Let's see. We want one of these. Uh, let's see. Which one do I normally go? I normally go at lightning. Uh, level one, thunder wave, fog cloud, levitate. Lightning is usually like for me the my favorite. So I think I'm gonna go with lightning. She still gets healing spells, just not as many. Uh, fucking Warhammer, you goddamn right, sir. You goddamn right. Um. Priest pack, no, no. Yeah, I think we're okay with that, and... I don't know who these people are... Okay, so obviously this guy. Now, I already picked that, so... Let's see, let's go with Sun. Because I should get two domains, right? I should get the domain for my class, and the domain for my divinity. Right, so it's... Burning Hands, Scorching Fire, Scorching Ray... Fire shield, wall of fire, flame strike, greater restoration. Right, so I should be able to get two domains. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Oh, you want to talk about hip hop, sir? Let me tell you about some hip hop. If you are into drums, if you're into drums, check out Nate Smith's album, Pocket Change. Bro, that shit is fucking insane. I listen to it when I'm like doing my laundry and I can't help but dance. It's so fucking good. Damn, that's actually a pretty good roll, but no, we're gonna, we're gonna re-roll it. Ah, oh, no. I'm gonna have to go with a standard array. Nah, fuck this. I'm just gonna roll until I get what I want. <sighs> wow. That's... Pretty nice. Oh, you can't roll re-roll individual dice. They were like, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> it was like a DM going, no, fuck you, you can't do that. Shut up. No charisma whatsoever. <laughs> People just no. Let's let's not do that. No, I want a charismatic. I don't care if he if his AC sucks. It is man. It's it's real good. He's a he's a jazz musician, and um, he does all this crazy shit with time signatures. Like right in the middle of. Like a 4-4, four, four, he'll break it to a completely different time signature. But then when he comes out of it, you realize he's still in 4-4. Four, four. He changes the time signature in the middle of a measure and then comes back out of it before the measure's over. It's like, what the fuck? All right, so, hmm. I've got a lot of minuses. We go with medicine and persuasion. Persuasion. All right, class can trips. What do we got? Touch a dying ally to stabilize him. Don't mind if I do. Sparkle. Uh, target up to three objects that can be illuminated and light up. Light them up immediately. Shine. An enemy you can see becomes luminous for a while. I don't know what that does. Okay. Uh, sacred flame, yes. Uh, sacred 
How long does it last? There we go. Duration is one minute? Dude, that's one minute? Fuck yeah. I didn't realize that was one minute. But Guidance is actually really good. Do they, um... Do they let you do this... when you're rolling dice like they do in uh, Baldur's uh, Gate 3 now? Because if they do, that's just... over-fucking-powered. Let's see, that's Aerie. The Argel clan. Yeah, that looks about right. Kinda looks like somebody's grandmother. That sounds about right. These heads are kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. Like, it looks alright when they're bald, but when you start putting hair on them, it looks just a little off. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go with that. Your skills are impressive. We leave no one I behind. I don't like it either. You've trained well. You can take it. All right, let's uh, let's fucking start the game now. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, understood. Thanks, bud. All right, we're gonna go. Oh my god, fuck off! I'm not gonna read your shit. Um, the leader of this group gonna be her selection. Um, my second motherfucker is gonna be this guy, right here. My third motherfucker is gonna be this bitch, right here. And my fourth motherfucker is gonna be this man, right here. Yes, sir. Looking good. What does authentic mode mean? Hell yeah, let's do it. Adjust the brightness and contrast until both lines of the five sigils are visible with the leftmost sigil being barely visible. Okay. Start the game. Did I pick the wrong rogue? I might have picked the wrong rogue. I might have to start the game over again. Fuck. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here with the smile on his face. What's he laughing at? Somebody uh, shoot him in the uh, knee with an arrow? What's going on? Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans either. No. Oh. Then, the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident. Or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalan, they called it. And twisted the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there, in search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Is it just me or did that sound like Stephen Russell? <laughs> just a little bit. Like, not totally, but that sounded like Steven Russell a little. I'm not gonna lie. God damn it. 
This beer tastes like donkey piss. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, I did pick the right rogue. Okay. Is this the place for the legacy council job? Hope I'm not too late. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. Take a load off. There's plenty of donkey piss to go around. If you're here for the <laughs> council job, get in line. <clears throat> Though if this Lord Karen doesn't show up soon, I may go looking for him. Uh, so they get their... Barkeeper. Four of your finest flagons of donkey piss, please. Looks like you've been waiting here a while. We do what we have to. So what's this trouble you were telling us about? Well, I was making my way here when three bandits leapt from the bushes with crossbows. They dragged me off to some decrepit prison and tossed me in a filthy cell that smelled of rat piss. Don't know what was holding the place up. Heh. <laughs> okay. You're gonna make me start the game with her. Alright. I don't know why, but cool. I'd much rather add my fighter. Okay. Well then. Pretty interesting. They, uh, I guess they base their uh, personalities and the shit that they say off of the tags that you picked, which I think is pretty genius. Just from like a design standpoint. Oh, right click turns the camera. Very nice. Hell yeah. And it's got drift. I like it. Fuck yeah. There's something about the voice acting that seems like text to voice. Yeah. I mean, I guess, but uh, I think it's still pretty cool that they're able to do that. Because these are all, like, characters that I made. And um, they derive their personalities from those tags you pick, so kind of cool I'm hoping that you get the chance to actually pick what they say <laughs> that would be nice I hope I hope that's not a thing that just keeps happening Oh, nice. So they just, they automatically climb. Oh my god. Climb. I gotta read this actually. To jump or climb, simply click on the destination. Okay, do you see that? You see what it says right there? Simply click on the destination. I, I really want Larian to look at that. And take note. Because, uh... I want you guys to do that! I hate having to jump in fucking Baldur's Gate 3. It's annoying as shit. Especially with the way you handle the fucking AI. They half the time don't know when to follow you, and then you have to, like, pick each and every fucking character and make them jump manually. It's really fucking dumb, Larian. Please. Please fix. Alright, so I'm guessing I have to just like push this shit over. I mean, this is interesting and all, but I really hope this isn't what the game is about. <laughs> oh, yay! I got a healing potion! Yay! Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Are you gonna make me fucking do all this again? Okay. Mm. Oh, 
them bitches is dead as fuck. <clears throat> mm, yes. Mm, don't mind if I do. Finally, some shit. Oh, she's already got all of her items? What the hell? Where where did she get the... Wait, I don't understand. What just happened? I got all my equipment back all of a sudden. Did you guys see me get all my equipment? Or is that just because I opened that chest? Like it gave me back all my equipment automatically. They need to be more... Explicit. <laughs> about that. Um, so you can't wear clothing under armor. That's kind of dumb. That's something that Pathfinder, uh, fixed. In their latest iteration of the game. And, uh, yeah. I was quite happy about that. Nice move, that trick with the wall. Glad you're no worse for wear. This council needs to get organized. They have no right to keep us waiting like this. You think the council cares about the like of us? <laughs> They'll get to us when they're good and ready. I have a tale to tell as well. I too was attacked, but I put an end to my enemies with blood and pain. Fuck yeah. So what That's want? what I'm talking about. Spit it out, why don't you? Do some blood and pain, lady. She had to fight some fucking, uh, some wolves first. I eat then. Oh, y'all are fucked. She rolled high, son. Y'all is fucked. Let me see. Wait, so I can hit both of those wolves from this position? A battle axe doesn't have reach, right? No. That's weird. Anyway. I love this grid-based system. It is... Exactly, exactly what I want in tactics games. Fuck yes, grid-based, so you know exactly how fucking far away you are from an enemy. You lose. It does the rolls, my dude! It does the rolls, my dude. It does the rolls, my dude. Oh my god, these tutorials! Fuck off! God damn it, fuck off. Ah, I win again. Damn. Okay, so that tells me I got an attack of opportunity coming my way if I do that. But not if I do any of this, but if I go like this, attack of opportunity. Ah, oh, dude! It's like they watched my real-time of pause video and did everything that I wanted people to do with their fucking games. Oh, Celasta! Oh, this is good. This is the best thing anybody has actually recommended me. Unless the game fucks up in some way. I don't think it will though. It hasn't done it hasn't done it yet. So let's find out. Wait till the next one. This must have loaded dice too. Cuz you're not like just sitting around waiting for a long time. Okay, so it wants me to disengage. How the fuck do I do that? Ah! 
Damn, bitch, you just destroyed a whole bridge. Do you know how much it's gonna cost to replace that lady? You're lucky you weren't attacked by Sorax. Shut your gob or I'll shut it for you. The Badlands are thick with them, shape-shifting bastards. Go easy on him. He's just a harmless old drunk. Probably saw lizard folk or dragonborn or something. You think I don't know the difference? All those spines on their backs, those jaws. Oof, that camera angle. Not lizard folk, not troglodyte, not dragonborn, I'm telling you. No one believes in Sorax anymore. Except the Church of Enar, of course. There's a Sorak under every bed if you believe them. Easy now. Don't mock people for their faith. Read them books. Soraks are masters of deception, infiltration. Anyone here could be a Sorak. You'd never know. Ah, oh, come on. Ha, <laughs> you'll see. So, anyway. Soraks might be legend, but orcs are quite real and not just in the Badlands. I stumbled across a secret settlement right here in the Principality. Bullshit. I was dragging my weary ass up the hills west of here and decided... His voice is decidedly the best. It was a beautiful day. Blue skies. Birds were singing. I watched one take wind and fell right into a bloody hole. His, best, his voice is the fucking best because his is the only one that actually seems like it's trying to act. There is, bro. Mm. Fell right into a bloody pit, I did. Pip pip cheerio. Exactly. It just sounds like they had people from in the office, like, you know, do the thing. <laughs> they just had people, random people in the office who, uh, who said, I can voice act a bit. Look, I could do a British accent. Right? Huh? You just take the H's away from everything. Hey, come here. <laughs> All right. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Conversation recorded. Damn. What's my journal? You have fallen in the cave. Cast a cantrip or blah 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 blah. Got it. Okay. Shocking grasp. Burning hands. Guiding bolt. Light. Okay, then. I can't do that, so why'd you even give me the option, bitch? Why'd you even give me the option of hell? What's this? Nice. Damn me, like I needed to fall into an old shithole. Bro, I kind of am digging this game. I have already done that. Thank you very much. I keep thinking you have to interact with ladders, but no, they were just like, no, just click on a place you want to go and he'll do the rest. Like, and then he actually does do that and doesn't get fucking lost. So I'm, I'm always surprised by it because <laughs> the pathfinding in these kinds of games usually fucking sucks ass. 
because John told me something recently that I didn't know is that most traditional pathfinding systems are only 2D. They don't pathfind on a 3D plane. So they can't, you can't use height. I was like, oh shit, I didn't fucking know that. It's like, no wonder so, so many of these uh, ISO games have trouble going to the to height and things like that because pathfinding isn't there in the traditional systems like you have to fake changing elevations or some shit like that and hop cells or whatever I don't know I didn't know that but wait a minute 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 wait do I want to fight them? That's the question. Like, the real question is... Do I want to harm them? And, uh... I can't, because I have the torch. Let me not use the torch. Can I turn the torch off? Click to switch your equipped items. Okay, alright. So I, I switched to the dagger. How do you like that? Cast spell. I got a guiding bolt. Magic missile. Three targets. Wow. Is he he's only level one, right? Wow, so the magic missiles now, they do three, huh? Remember when you only had like one magic missile? <laughs> when it was just one magic missile. You got one at level one, and then at level three you got two. <laughs> now you get three immediately. Nice. So a lot of games nowadays are hiding the uh, the monster stats behind um, behind skill checks. I love that. I think that's a positive change. Okay, so what did I open up? Did I open up a fucking gate or what? There's a chest over here. Did I already get the chest? Yes, I did. Okay. So what it seems like they're doing is they're sending commands to the player, right? Whenever it has to change height, that it changes the height for them based on like maybe some variables like if player is um, running across here and has to jump this gap, then make them jump from their starting location directly across. Because you notice there's no diagonals or anything, right? So it's like whenever they have to change height or whenever they have to change um, the distance, they um, they do it through triggers and actions that change the player's height, not through pathfinding or anything like that, which is pretty rad. They're camped right by the only exit. Oh. Just keeps getting better. Guess I'm waiting them out. At least these rocks are damned uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, Pawn Rush will recover your spell slots. Cool. Have slaughtered every one of those green skin monsters. Orcs have a very distinctive stink. I'm beginning to think Lord Karen might be a mythical creature. We've all told a tale of our travels here. All but one of us. 
Yes, but I have a good reason for that. It's none of your bloody business. Come on now, don't be a killjoy. We all sang for our supper. Your turn. Fine. You want to know the truth? I stopped on the way here to visit an old friend of mine and discovered he was up to his eyeballs in debt with a lone shark. Oh, that's not good. Indeed. He put up a family heirloom as collateral and wanted me to reacquire it because, you see, I can be quite stealthy when necessary. He's a burglar! <laughs> he breaks into things. Couldn't you tell by his black armor, huh? Yeah, the next time I do some cosplay, man, I'm gonna have to make me a pair of this guy's armor. Because this guy's armor is fucking fantastic. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Always thoughtful. Alright, so I've got my... Let me see here. I forget what... I forget in D&D &D what it does to your... to hit. When you have two weapons here. What's this? This weapon is not light. Preventing... Yeah. See? I knew it. I knew it. I knew that the fucking rapier was gonna be a problem I didn't want. Alright. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, no. Oh, Jesus, no. What did I do? I knew the fucking rapier was going to be a problem. I said it, too. I was like, I bet that this is a big fucking weapon to him. And it was. I should have taken a short sword, but then I thought... Well, aren't short swords also large weapons to these guys? And I would have been right in that account, too, because they are. I know they are. So, if a short sword is, then a goddamn rapier is as well. Uh, anyway. So who did I get spotted by? This guy? Oh my god, this is awesome, bro. Dude, this is super awesome, man. I just the way they've they've done this. I'm oh, dude. I'm thinking the shit out of this game right now. <clears throat> like I've played a lot of games this uh, this month. I played a lot of games because of um, the video I'm doing. And uh, this is the first one where I was like, "Yo, all I want to do right now is play this game." Like, Game Deck is okay. It's like, it's a good game. I'm gonna recommend it, but it's like... The writing is pretty subpar, unfortunately. So it's like, while I can recommend the game for its gameplay mechanics, which are very good... Like, I didn't stream it, but um, I got to a certain point in the game where I realized... That, like, you can, you can fail your fucking missions surreptitiously and not know why and just be like, oh, so I, like, really fucked up here somehow. And the fact of the matter is, is that, like, yeah, you fucked up sometime along the way when you were making conclusions about who people were or whatever. And um, that later comes in to fuck you over because you didn't investigate enough or something else before you made a decision. Or you made the wrong decision at some point, or you made a wrong decision at the end. It's like, it, that 
kind of shit is super interesting, and it's like, I don't care if the writing's not great in that case. Like, in that case, I'm okay with just exploring the mechanics of it. Because I can read pretty fast. <laughs> I could go, okay, next. I could do, like, the really fast speed reading and shit, so I don't need to, uh... But if you're the type of person that has to read every single fucking syllable very slowly, I don't recommend that game. <laughs> <laughs> you need a game that you can savor the dialogue in. Like, um, my, uh, my kid is autistic, so he has a hard time reading at times. And, uh, I've been teaching him how to do, uh, the speed reading. Because, uh, I think that's just super important. Like, when I was a kid, I had a really hard time with reading. And being able to speed read at first was, like, a really helpful tool. Because when you have to read shit you don't want to read, you know? I, didn't, I wasn't sure if that was going to actually disarm the trap or not. I wasn't sure about that at first. Alright. Good shit. Wow, this is super fucking cool. But anyway, um, like the systems are really good and all that jazz. And like, yeah, I like them, but the writing is admittedly not great. So if you can't speed read, I wouldn't bother with it. Honestly, <laughs> the writing's actually that bad where it's a little painful. How the fuck do I get out of here? If they're out there. There you are, you filthy crook! You? What? You're drunk. Get out of here before I kill you. Think you scare me? Not anymore. A grave mistake. Liam, what are you doing here? I told you I'd take care of it. Dude, this is just like a game of D&D. This is just like a fucking game of D&D. Like, you... This creature cannot perform this kind of action. Well, yeah, I, I'm... Fuck, I realize that. I want you to actually come out of fucking stealth. Is that okay? Shit. I can't close in on him in time. Can I dash? How much is a shove? Shit, man, so no. <sighs> oh my god, I like this. I like this a lot. Wow, you fucking completely missed him, buddy. Ooh, he rolled a fucking 20! <laughs> nice! Are you four here to see Lord Karen? Oh, yeah. Well, we're not here to drink ourselves to death. Well, thank you for making that clear. Okay! Lord Karen of the Legacy Council. Okay! Okay, hold on. Stop for a minute. They did what I I thought they might do, which is crazy to me. Um, wow. So they wrote specific dialogue options for each um, uh, tag, right? And depending on whose tag comes up, then you get those dialogues. And it's like, then it, it's more like a party conversation, like a tabletop game where multiple people are, you know, doing a thing. So hold on. So like what I fucking love here, I would love to see, and I'm not sure if it has it. I got to go back to the main menu, but if this game has multiplayer, I am going to come. I'm going to come. 
Uh, <laughs> we should get paid for waiting. I'd like to present you with a bill for the time we just spent cooling our heels. Feel free. The council's bursary enjoys a good laugh. Can you tell us more about the job? Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. What do you want to know? Um... Bro, I want to know about the, um... We hear this is a mission for the council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know? I'll try to make it simple, but you know, politics? The council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. What are the organizations you mentioned? The council? is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcaneum, and the Circle of Denantar. And the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's what do that. Are the Badlands, really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden, chaotic wasteland that used to be the elven empire called Manicala. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now, only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge, riches, and dangers. I think we know enough now. Thank you. It's kind of it's kind of amazing that this um, this style of dialogue is so enthralling because I'm just like, who do I want to respond? You know what I mean? It's like a different kind of decision. Like it used to be that the the trope is um, you know you respond with only one character and that's the character that you made, right? But in this character, you probably made everybody, right? So. Um, it, it changes the dialogue, uh, decision that you have to make from, um, choosing from one person talking to a bunch of different choices of things that he can say to this system, which is the personality is responding, not the person. Like, so you're trying to choose whose personality would be best in this section of the of the dialogue or talking to this specific person maybe like i it, i have a feeling that that's what it does i'm going to keep going and see but goddamn this game is pretty fucking good man <laughs> it's pretty fucking good are we going to work for you not exactly no I'll be your contact with the Legacy Council, which you will serve as deputies. That's why we need to go there and get you sworn in. What can you tell us about this place, the Principality? We don't exactly have the time. Anyway, the Principality of Mazgarth is ruled by Princess Kaiwood Silverflower. We are a wealthy state with fertile lands and the easiest access to the Badlands through a pass called the Copperhead Road. We're in the capital, Kerr Kiflin, which was once part of the ancient Manicalan Empire of the High Elves. Hence the magnificent elvish buildings up there in the High Tower. While we don't have a state religion, all of the major faiths of Celasta are represented here, though we tend to favor Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. Dude, I, I'm, I'm taken with this. So yeah, even if this isn't um, multiplayer, you're right. Like you could use Steam Remote Play on this, and it would work because you could just have people vote on who they think should um, say the dialogue. That'd be really fun. That'd be fun to do like a huge like Discord stream or a Twitch stream of uh, people from the Discord playing this with me. We should go. That'd be fun. Very well. <clears throat> Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. 
Hurry up and win. How do you do a Twitch integration? You mean like uh, just have like Twitch vote on it? Because uh, Twitch is really hard to get people to vote. Um, unless you have a lot of people. You know what I mean? Because like a lot of people just watch my shit in the background. You know what I mean? While they're working. So not a whole lot of people vote or even chat. You know? So it's like... Um, I'd kind of have to figure out some kind of situation where, um, like, if you're a part of the Discord, if you're a patron of the channel, then you're already a part of the Discord. You just have to accept the link, right? And then anybody who wanted to play, we could just, like, we could just start a private Discord for just games and have that kind of thing where, um, even when we do multiplayer games, because I do do multiplayer games and I always want people to join up, but it's hard to get people together. It's hard to get people together because uh, I have no way to communicate with people. Um, what is this guy? Can we... So Alt doesn't tell me anything about him. Is there an examine button or anything? No. I wouldn't mind being able to examine people before I talk to them. It helps me prepare for what I'm about to do. Alright, so let me read this again. Uh, hurry up and wait, the story of my life. Uh, let's see, come gather your things, you're late for your swearing in. Okay, so we have to go and swear in, I guess? Let's get you deputized first, shall we? And where the fuck do we do that? Ooh, this map! Bro, this map is sexy as shit! Oh my god, and you can pick a specific place on the map to move to. Wow, these people are impressing we'll the shit out of me. People are. Dude, all it is is a top down uh, render of the actual game world with things on it. Like. I, I'm not even like. I, I'm, I'm just like flabbergasted by how good a lot of the designs they do are. That they're exactly how I would do things if I knew how to do them. I'm just like, <laughs> like, wow, they're so fucking good. What is the, who is this team? The council's in the opposite direction. The bridge is closed for now. Cause this is what, this is a, this is a smaller team, right? I'm just, dude, wow. Like, you could basically just, like, fucking... If they if they left the map up after you clicked, you could basically just navigate by the map. <laughs> you wouldn't have to navigate this way. It could be useful in certain situations. New waypoint added. Temple quarter. Dude, I am not sure where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. I should have paid more attention. This um, it's located near the palace and embassies. Head north. Head, head to the Sunblaze Court. Okay. There's the mayor. Right. Got it. I made the right decision. <laughs> I'm busy. Come back later. Bitch, what are you busy with? You're supposed to deputize me. <laughs> I'm the one you're supposed to see, lady. Uh, head north, take the stairs to the Sunblaze Court, then take the stairs west to the embassies. I gotta re meet the council. Okay. Oh, there's a goddamn dot right there. Good job. <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently I need a lot more hand-holding than I thought I did. Holy shit. Holy shit, really? It's just 15 people? I guess that makes sense. That me and John are doing some shit right now with just me and him. That, or is it really just him at this point? He's doing a lot of the shit. I'm just making the levels and the, the art and stuff. He's actually making the systems work and it's just one dude. And he's doing so much. <laughs> like... You don't understand, like, in the six months that we've been working on the game, I've gone through three different iterations on different arenas and things for us to test on, right? And, uh, <laughs> John, nice. Um, and, uh, he has done sound propagation, meaning, like, uh, um, reverb rooms, um... You know, like the profiling the reverb in a room and like hearing the footsteps and what direction they're coming from, you know, emulating the thief system. Uh, and uh, he's created a light detection system already where, you know, the guards can see you and then they'll chase you. And he also figured out recently how to get the uh, rigged models into the game. So like we got rigged models that all are already animated, moving through the level, looking for you, the player. We've almost got a working fucking demo already. <laughs> like it's it's fucking crazy. Like I'm seriously blown away by this dude. And you know what? You should use that as your um <laughs> you should use that as your CV. Me shouting you out on Twitch. <laughs> There you go. That's your CV. I'm so important. <laughs> they recommend for me. But yeah. He's been doing, he's been kicking us. He's been kicking fucking ass, dude. Let's see. What we is, should go. no, I'm good. Walk in life, adventurers. A flirting stat, yeah. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Have some romances. You can flirt with the, uh... With the mans as the women's. And you can flirt with people's dogs, too. <laughs> but they're always playing hard to get. <laughs> Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look! Is that the princess? <laughs> I just saw you just use my shout out on your CV. Then <laughs> who will administer the oath? No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. It's a bad idea. Because then they'll go watch my videos and they'll see just how like immature I am. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this, this fucking guy. Don't even tell him I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> don't, just don't even mention that. Like, I remember my wife, she was like telling people about my YouTube channel because like the only videos that she had seen, I guess, up to that point were like my, um, my videos about like schools and shit like that. And I was, I just like looked at her like, babe, what are you doing? Don't show this shit to people. I, you don't understand. I've said some things. And don't want your uh, your coworkers to know this. You know. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> I gotta put on my old man glasses because the blue light is killing me. I'm sorry. I gotta put on these old man things. These yeah, these blue blockers. In fact, I'm not gonna do you like that. I'm gonna let you see them. They're goofy as hell. They fit over top of your glasses, see? And I look I look like um like an old retiree from Boca who's out in the sun. It's like it just hurts my eyes. I just I can't I can't have it shining directly down on my eyes because I like to lay on my back and get a little bit of a tan here on my front. And every time I do that, just the sun, it kills my eyes. And then one time I put up like a towel over my eyes, and then I just had 
a tan right here and right here and like nothing here. I look like a tan raccoon. It was terrible. Sorry. It's not her role. There's a mouse keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess? Uh if not her then who? She rules the whole principality. Who's more important? Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Pot down. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good? I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the council's register. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. <laughs> That's it? The guy who makes silly gangster voices for fantasy characters. Yeah, all the time. I love them. I love doing them, man. Like, my favorite show is The Sopranos because it's such a it's so cartoony. Like my two favorite characters are Polly Walnuts, obviously, because like every time the game allows me to do Polly Walnuts, I I do Polly Walnuts. It's just favorite character in a TV show or movie ever. Uh, and Sill. They're like. Sill is like my close second favorite. Like the guy who play like uh, the guy who plays Polly Galtieri, he's actually like a legitimate kind of fucking badass. He's actually like a legit like he he tells this one story in an interview. And I don't know if this is like an interview or if this is like some kind of art project that he was in or something, but like from his story, he's actually kind of like a, like a real dude, you know what I mean? Like, he, he tells this story about how he was at, like, the boardwalk, right, down at the shore in New York, and this guy was talking to his girl, and he just went right up to the guy, grabbed him by his legs, and flipped him over the fucking pier, and watched him fall like three stories down to the fucking beach and then just left <laughs> and he was he was explaining how like that how doing that has is sort of stuck with him like the, as the worst thing he's ever done i'm like holy shit yeah dude it was <laughs> that's, that's a pretty bad one <laughs> i was just like thinking like jesus christ that's that's a really bad one to confess to, man. <laughs> you keep that to yourself, shit. You don't tell anybody that. Yeah, clearly that guy. <laughs> Tony, he was fucking asking for it. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm gonna not do nothing. <laughs> fucking Polly. And that, that, that scene with Syl with the cheese. He's like, I put Parmesan cheese in my socks, so it smells like your sister's crotch. Leave the fucking cheese alone. <laughs> no, 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 don't say the movie's bad. Don't say the movie's bad, is it? Man, I want to see the movie so bad. I want to see the movie so bad. It's got, you know that it's got... Um, Tony's son, like his real life son in it, right? Playing Tony Soprano. He even has the mannerisms at times. It's crazy. I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the principality and the marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. 
We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. Yeah, like the robes and shit are pretty interesting. I kind of like how they how they do the dialogue. It's like a character select screen. I really like what they're doing, god damn it. This is really good. This is really good, man. I'm creaming my jeans over this game. I um and it's it's well written enough that I don't notice any flaws. It's like it's What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer, more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty, and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. A whole garrison gone? There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. We hear you. Just so you know, we'd like to start slow, meaning more treasure, less danger. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So, gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. So, okay, yeah, like, each character... These three characters are characters I made, and this is a character that's pre-made. Now, of course, his character's really good, but I think it's just the design of his character is really good, and his personality is, like, strangely fitting for a, like law or a chaotic evil uh sorcerer like it it's really fitting and then like uh but all the rest of them have personalities too it's just that um i haven't gotten a chance to express them too much right i guess that's that it's on to kill them <clears throat> Wait, what was that? That was a faction thing, right? Hang on. So... Oh, this is pretty cool. Alright, so this is the faction screen. This tells you what your standing with various factions in the game are. Let's see, um... So I'm wondering if these are all, like, lawful factions or something, and then, like, you don't have to worry about your standing with the, um... the evil factions. Because I would love to have an evil option to play, you know me. I want that evil option. Look at how she walking, though. Look how that bitch walk, look. How you walking, girl? What is that? Is that some kind of new power walk that you're doing? Hold on. Some kind of new power walk. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> you, she's done now. It was a little too much for her. There's life yet, adventurers. Prancer sizing. Lady of life, a follower of the goddess. Uh, yo, we need your services, dog. We do require your services. Uh, uh, let's see what you got here. Holy symbol belt buckle. I'm thinking homegirl already got one. Homeboy don't need one. Well, he does need one. Let's see. Let's go with, uh, belt buckle, maybe. Holy symbol cape. Actually, that would look really cool. I want it. <laughs> It looks cool, so I want it. Conclude. Thank you. You're gonna, you're gonna wear it. 
I don't care what you think or say. You're gonna wear that cloak. Oh, lame! Oh my god, that's so lame. There's no fucking capes. Bitches, that's so lame. You bitches got a lot to learn. <laughs> now I'm pissed off. You guys did great until now. <laughs> Just bought this cape for no fucking reason. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fuck it, just wear the cape. Fucking look like your arms are cold anyway. <laughs> this character's ready to level up. Cool, we get to level up. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What the fuck? Do it. Oh, after a long rest? Is that what you're telling me right now? Oh. You whore. How do I do a long rest? I gotta get to a tavern or something. That's some view. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay, what is this now? I have time for it now. Uh, so these are... Uh, these are all the uh, Kickstarter backers, probably. Alright, you know what? We need to go find a place to long rest. Like, fucking right now. Dude, this game is so good. I am so surprised. I really, really am. Are you guys going? Can you please? Okay, so I'm thinking this is where I need to go. Grave keeps cask. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's like a warm watermelon. I've never heard that expression before. Is the, is it warm because it's for fucking? Like, what is it? What's the deal here? What's the deal, yo? What's the real deal, yo? I'd say the pathfinding isn't half bad either. Like. He managed to get a lot of things right in this bitch. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? No, nah, no, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Well, I, I get it now. I didn't get it at first. If I got it at first, then I would have laughed. Your beard. <sighs> Wow, he's just like on that beer shit. Like your beer is terrible. And that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. Well, maybe you have blood all over your casks and that might be a problem. I don't You know what I mean? Like, did you see that? The Look. You got blood all over the damn things, man. Clean the bitches. That's why your beer tastes so bad. Shit. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here. That's the good news. <laughs> An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Grave Keeps Cask? Well, it's... Yo, hold up. They are still working on this?
They are still developing this. That's crazy. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. So that means it's going to get better. Sweet. And settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know. I hope they find a way to monetize all the work they're doing, because goddamn. Okay, so it's like stuff they promised on, uh, on, uh, Kickstarter or whatever. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, this bitch gets 14, so they do roll. Oh, man, and you can't re-roll that shit either. Yikes. Oh, doesn't he get 10? Yeah, he didn't roll very good shit. Yeah, he gets 10. Fuck. He did not roll very high. Oh, oh well. Prepare spells. Maybe I should do that. Before or after? Let's do after. Channel Divinity, Channel Divinity, Turn Undead, Channel Divinity, Herald uh, of the Sun. Six row cells with radiant light causing 1d8 damage per two. Wow. A successful constitution saving throw and cause blinded. Con ah, alright. That's pretty good. Right? That's pretty good. Bane, no. No. No! Dude, I don't understand. What's the... Okay. So, 5e does this thing now where all you do is prepare spells and then that's it, right? and you get to use as many of them as you want in whatever order you want, right? You just memorize them, which that makes more sense than the old system did. Like I had to memorize Magic Missile three times, you know what I mean? And I fucking hated that. So I guess the only difference between wizards and clerics and shit in 5e is that the difference between them and uh, sorcerers is that sorcerers just get, like, way more spell slots and less spells. You know? Is that what it is? Huh. Anyway. I guess I will go with Bane. I don't know. Let me see. What does it do? Inflicts Bane struck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, never mind. I'll take that, yeah. That's, uh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's good. That's real good. Well, we're about to find out. Um, gets an extra spell slot, one spell to select. You have gained eight hit points. Okay. Not terrible. Actually, it's a max roll. Cool. Uh, sorcery points. A pool of eternal power which can be used to alter magical spells. One point per uh, sorcerer level. Oh, yeah. It is. It is that. So, you get way more... Yeah, you get one more um, casting point than uh, a wizard every level. Magic missile's pretty good, but shield is is really just the best. So, I'm going to go ahead and unlearn 
burning hands. And we're gonna do... Where's shield at? Well, there's mage armor. Where the fuck is the shield? There we go. I don't know if I need mage armor. Um... Hmm. Keep magic missile? Oh, I have to keep magic missile. Oh, never mind. Alright, so yeah, shield. Good. Uh, class spells. Oh, you just did it to me again, you piece of shit. Okay. There we go. Change. Thank you. What the fuck? Okay, so there's... Oh, I see. It just takes you to the very next one. Got it. Um, Expeditious Retreat could be very good. But I'm thinking if anybody gets close to me, what I really want to do is Color Spray. So, that's what I'm going to do there. Alright. Fan-fucking-tastic. I wish this game had proper uh, formations, though, but I don't think they could do proper formations because they're on a grid-based system. Yeah, get killed in the Badlands. Yeah. So I'm okay with losing formations if it's a 100% grid system. Let me see. You could probably only move one grid square away, right? Yep. Ah, yeah. You know what? I'm perfectly okay with that. Now that I've seen it. Alright, so let's look at the quest log. Buy some food for the journey. Go to Gorm's Emporium. Uh, probably not a week. But let's find out. Well, that guy's awake. He's just staring into nothing. And Slash, you can craft various items. Okay, it's a crafting thing. Oh my fucking god. Hello. How may I help you? What do you sell here? Mostly potions for heroic adventurers like yourselves. I also have recipes for customers who like to craft their own. And ingredients, too. Even rare flowers from the Badlands. Come back any time. I'm almost always open. What do you sell? Mostly pie. Oh, and come back. Okay, we have hardly any money. We just need food, right? And this guy's not going to have any. Never mind. Blood for Gorum. <laughs> Welcome to Gorum's Emporium. Are you Gorim? That's me, the one and only. Okay, your voice does not fit your fucking face at all. So... Wow, that's gonna cost me five gold, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, they even made it so that you, um... Don't ever need that. Don't think I'll ever need it. Alright, uh, conclude. Damn, they got platinum and gold and silver and, uh, copper. 
pretty fucking awesome. Uh, ration pouch. Yes, that's I need that. An herbalism kit. Who can use the herbalism kit? No, she can. Okay. And she should probably hold on to the rations, but I'll give them to her. Wow, each one of these patch pouches is a fucking dollar. Or a gold. She doesn't have one at all. Or she does, she has five. How many am I supposed to buy? Let me see. Let's see if I can figure this out. Um, so I need to buy four. Got it. <clears throat> Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. You know what, I'm not going to sell hers because she might actually need it. She definitely doesn't need arrows. That's, uh, that is for sure. Because, uh, you don't shoot arrows out of a, out of a fucking, uh, dart. What the fuck? Where's the bolts? Are you telling me that uh, crossbows use fucking arrows and not bolts? Bro. What the fuck? Yeah, what ammunition does it use? Does she just not have the ammunition I need? Bro, I'm not... Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Clear. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Hide. That's set the medium armor. Damn. Is there no studded leather? There we go. It's expensive as shit, though. God damn. Alright, let's just buy the goddamn rations and get the fuck out of here. Okay, am I hallucinating here? There we go. Okay, give me a new quest. Come on. Come on, you know you want to do it. Deputies? <clears throat> A word, if you please. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorder, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. 
I like how he's always looking to the the sorcerer every time he says something mean about somebody. <laughs> I wonder if that's on purpose. Honestly. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. Oh, Randy's leaving? That's good. Probably be the best thing for him. They could stop raping Duke Nukem's ass. Maybe release an actual game. You came. You picked our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council. In the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really Can I just say that's the dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard? Senior deputy of the a game studio starting a fucking film studio? To some old ruin in the Badlands. Can I just say that that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard? Still a bit green, so let's say I'm sorry, I might be being cynical and shit, but I think that's fucking dumb. I really think that's dumb. What are you gonna do? They're gonna make fucking boulder, Borderland... Stop interrupting. It's rude. <laughs> borderland video... Movies and shit, like I... Rusty swords, leather armor, shields, too much for you to... I don't even know what to say about that, like... So we're puny as well. What fucking Gearbox IP have you just been dying to see on the big screen? And draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. Mass Effect Andromeda, the movie. Bad things... Uh, it would probably actually be good because there was more potential in the idea of the game than there was in the game. Not in your little backpacks. I could I I could write that movie and it would be the best. Because <laughs> I'm amazing. Battleborn the movie. <laughs> it's 20 minutes long and takes three years to come out. Yeah. Uh, do you... No, I'll see you later, Thank bitch. You. Bye. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us anytime. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care Lem. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. Yeah, I'm sorry. They don't get to have okay. Alright? They don't get to have that. That's not theirs, okay? And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see. I, I'm still mad that gay people got the word gay, because I love calling shit gay. Don't forget. In the bad <laughs> You know what I mean? You don't get to have a word, goddamn. It's, it's irritating. You don't get to have a word. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. See how often I use okay? God, man. Is this why, like, uh, on Reddit people call me a skinhead? Because <laughs> I'm... I'm constantly given the okay symbol. Yeah, man. They got the frog, man. They got Pepe. Did you see the movie about the guy who created Pepe the Frog? It's so sad, man. That's such a sad fucking movie. It's just this really cool, like... Well, he seems, like, cool. I don't know about his past or not. But it's just, like, this movie about this guy who's just, like, super fucking nice and kind of awkward and a little weird, and he created a comic book that he ran for years on the web with Pepe the Frog 
the Pepe the Frog that you know of, that's like a character from his story. And then these fucking Nazis, like, <laughs> co-opted it. And how bad that must have made him feel for years. <laughs> like, he, he felt like shit for years about it. Because it, like, took this thing that didn't mean anything like that, and they co-opted it for their own good. Or for their own good for the whole... Whoa! They co-opted it for their own needs, is what I was trying to say. Oh, shit. But yeah, man. That's a good fucking movie. I love documentaries. I can't watch regular movies anymore. Wow. Is it? Oh, Jesus. This is a big fucking map. Lots of mountains, too. Pretty cool. Alright, it's 60 miles. It'll take three days. Two long rests. <clears throat> Let's see if we have, like, a little guy that goes like this very slowly across the screen and then goes... Uh, Or if it just goes there and you don't have to do anything <laughs> let's see let's see if it happens let's see if it's a immediate transition or if it's just like a slow guy going if they did the slow guy going I'm gonna be upset you fucking motherfuckers damn it I I need to um, I need to say something we need to bring back the design of you click on a place. Oh, great. You click on a place, and then uh, you just go to that place. And if you get interrupted or waylaid by enemy forces, it takes you to the place where you got waylaid by enemy forces. You have been waylaid by enemy forces and must defend yourself. I've heard that I've heard that exact dialogue about a million fucking times. I played through Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 something like a thousand fucking times. Yes, right clicking, god damn it. But I think it's because they're like, um, not designing the UI for fucking PCs, unfortunately. If they did, they'd find so many options that they can carry over to controllers and all kinds of other systems. Okay, and this would have been why I would have really liked to have had. What's this? Cunning action. What can I put as my cunning action? Nothing. I don't want to do any of that. Oh, nice. <laughs> good shit. Do it, baby. Oh, you missed. That's not good. Get him! Oh, wait, no. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's see. Are you serious? Bitch, did you not fucking rest? That's a thing? Oh no! Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Really? You just did that to me You fucking bitch That sucks ass. Well, I'm gonna get her the hell out of there.
Yeah, even either way, I cast the spell, I'm gonna get fucking wrecked. What the fuck is going on? Cast spell. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Let's see, I can use Fireball, which I think that does 1d8, alright? Or 1d10, Jesus. Why would I use anything else? Um. That didn't do enough. Shit. <clears throat> Shit, they are going right after my weakest people. Ooh! Poor. Okay, now you need to get right over here and attack that son of a bitch. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Do your action surge, lady. I'm all coming your way. <laughs> you tell him, bitch. You tell him. Go and tell it on a mountain hill. <laughs> he got that crit. This guy is getting those crits. Nice. You tell him, bitch. I would Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's good shit. That is good chat. So can we loot them? Yes, we can. Ooh! Ooh! Okay! We get some... We got a lot of shit. I mean, I know there's not, like, a lot of money, but... Yo, the, the fucking shit that they had on them is real nice. That's gonna sell for a lot of money. Uh, we got a scimitar, scimitar, scimitars, all scimitars. Hmm. Damn, I can't believe she can't use that shield. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Okay, that's everything. Let's rest. I imagine it affects your, your walking speed, but I didn't really check. <sighs> I should check next time. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I don't understand. Why can't I camp whenever I want? Um... I want to camp. Please let me camp. Why won't you camp? What the fuck, dude? Stop! Fucking... Are you resting or not? I don't even know what you're doing. Are they resting at that point? Like, what the fuck? Does any- is anybody able to tell me what the fuck was going- Like... Okay. I think- I think when they stop and it says impeded, what that actually means is that they're resting. Not that they're impeded by an obstacle, but that they're resting? Okay. 
just the just the throwing out of a little seed, throwing out a little seed there, hoping it grows. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Put camping right there where it says it. Right there when it says impeded. Don't do that. To say camping, <laughs> camping. I cut through a lot of confusion because I was freaking out there. I'm like, these guys are gonna walk themselves to death. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Because it says they're impeded. So that's KLM? We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? It might be a French thing. Is it, is it a French game? Could be. I gotta say though, man. So far, all of the systems... Except for like just a little few annoyances here and there. Like all these systems are fucking rock solid, man. Let's see, who should we have go down there? Him maybe? Can him go down there? No, him cannot go down there. What's that smell? Oh yeah, Dragonborn would be I wish they had some Dragonborn, my dudes. Oh, fucking goblins. Uh-oh. How do they portray the goblins? Do they do a good job? Let's find out. Where are they at? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. Oh, they did a good job with the goblins. <laughs> they did a good job with the goblins. Oh, and you can take cover. Oy. Oy vey. I love it. That's good shit. Alright. How about we put... Dude right here. And... Oh my god, I'm, gonna, I'm forever gonna be doing that. I am forever gonna be doing that. How far can I hit from? Can't hit him from here, right? Can I? Spell. Meow. Wow, he can do it. And he completely fucking missed. Good job, buddy. That way she has, like, cover from this guy. Oh yeah, you definitely doing it. Well struck. Oh my god, they keep missing, it's great. Okay, can he go stealth? No, he can't. I don't understand why you can't fucking do that. Break the line of sight. Okay. Break the line of sight over here, maybe, and then do it. Go. No. Somebody can still fucking see me, somehow. <laughs> fucking god. Alright. Those guys can still see me. Those guys can still see me. Nobody can see me when I'm over there. So that's what I'll do. I'll get my dumb ass over there. And hide him. Uh, a visible enemy with six cells of radiant light. <laughs> D 
did two damage. I did, uh... <sighs> I did two damage to that guy. a hundred percent spell oh yeah good job lady get over there and get your attacks of opportunity hey Fucker. That's upsetting. Now that's a good system right there. That's a good fucking system. I'm digging the hell out of the way they did stealth in this game. They made it useful again. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. God, she still has that fucking candle in her hand. Bombarding these bitches with magic misses. Yes! My dude right there! <clears throat> Make it happen. You can't step on the same cell as a body? Interesting. Alright. Damn it. Ah! Damn it. Suck. She does suck right now. She's doing pretty bad. She is getting her fucking... Her stool pushed in, man. Let's go with Bane. No, can't use Bane, huh? go about time lady Where did those come from? 
Some hole in the mountain, I guess. Oh wow, now they all each individually leave shit. Oh boy. Wow. Uh, short bow, scimitar, scimitar, fucking torch. Don't need any of that. Okay, so, alright. So it was just because they were on different levels, I guess. getting ambushed again because these are goblins we're talking about very likely to be another uh, ambush somewhere heal now that we're in a safe place. Nice. Good shit. Alright. This is pretty cool. Oh no. Don't tell me a cutscene just I have a unstealth me. Where's the garrison? Dead or run away? Look! That tower! That's insane. Courtesy of the Cataclysm. The marches are full of stuff like this. I wouldn't mind seeing another Icewind Dale. Anyway, we have a mission. Icewind Dale was good for what it was. It wasn't a, um, it wasn't like a full-on CRPG. It was like, uh, it was more of a, um, just a hack and slash dungeon crawler. Um, all right, I gotta get going. I have to go pick up the kids soon from school. But, uh, yeah, man. This is fun. This is a fun-ass game. I'm probably going to do some more of it tomorrow. And uh, maybe some more over the weekend after I get back from... Uh... Oh, my God. We still got to pick up the damn isolation booth. That big-ass isolation booth. We got to pick it up, put it in a truck, clean out all of our shit out of storage. I'm going to have all my musical instruments in the house, so that's nice. I have my piano, my drums, my uh, guitars, my bass. So it'll be nice. Can start teaching the kids some music and stuff. But um, not looking forward to doing all that shit. Not looking forward to moving all that stuff out of the house. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, you guys have been great. Thanks for dropping by and sticking around. Uh, hopefully tomorrow at 8 I can continue this. So, alright. Peace out.